Hello, my name is Marco Lisserre. I'm professor ahead of the chair of power electronics at Kiel University. I want to say something about the project HERT, that is uh, the highly efficient and reliable smart transformer, a new HERT for the electric grid. This is uh, a project funded by the European um, Research Council and is an excellence grant and uh, has been focused on the development of a smart transformer, which is a power electronic transformer, which offers the possibility to the distribution grid to be meshed and hybrid. So with the DC connectivity, uh, offer the possibility to control the power flow and the voltage level, and in general, should allow to integrate more renewable energies and electric vehicle charging station with uh, less reinforcement of the grid assets. Uh, apart from the grid service, we have been focusing also on achieving high efficiency using silicon carbide technology and modular approaches and high reliability using the concept of power routing, which consider the maintenance of the power converter at a very early stage. The project has originated uh, many uh, uh, publications, which uh, you can uh, list, you can find on our website. And so if you want to know more about our project, you, I invite you to look at our website and the several uh, following projects, including a, a medium voltage uh, laboratory, which uh, will be a useful infrastructure also for reinforcing the cooperation with the industry. So I will present, uh, uh, let's say, uh, four main spots that can give an idea of what we have uh, uh, realized. This is the first one. This is the version two of, uh, how, uh, of a part of the smart transformer. It is a power converter which uses uh, the new technology of silicon carbide, which is uh, highly uh, efficient. Um, and uh, it's also a special power converter, which is based on a modular um, uh, topology uh, which is a multi-winding transformer, and this can have application, as I say, for uh, an electronic transformer in the uh, electric grid, so a smart transformer, but also, for example, for a charging station. We have actually another project, there's a proof of concept project, uh, which is a spin-off project of this one, which is aiming to bring, actually, this to market, either finding a company which can bring this, uh, this to the market or to actually uh, uh, so create our own spin-off company. As I say, um, reliability and lifetime is a very important topic for power electronics in general, but is a very big challenge, especially for this uh, smart transformer, this power electronic transformer. Classical transformer has a very long lifetime and so the, if you have such a new technology in the field, we have also to carry about uh, how this uh, technology can uh, also um, a, a longer uh, work without problems, so have less maintenance need. So the way in which we have decided to approach this kind of, of problem is using active thermal control. We have invented a new technique, which is called active uh, power routing in which basically we say, okay, we have a modular structure and then we decide to um, actually uh, load more those cells of this modular structure which they have higher lifetime respect to those that are weaker. So these kind of things we have tested in a very special setup that you, you can see here, which is something which you can also use for other power electronic converter testing, in which we can see in real operation the temperature inside the semiconductor or inside the capacitor using some sensor. And then under realistic condition, we can see how we can influence the temperature of these devices and as a consequence, their capability to withstand uh, uh, such a kind of stress for longer time. Um, and we have used this uh, uh, kind of setup uh, to test uh, our ideas and to, to prove if they were actually working. When we uh, started the project, uh, we of course uh, had the idea that the smart transformer could bring some advantages to the electric grid and uh, allow to rethink the electric grid, reinvent the electric grid, which uh, up to now has been always uh, uh, actually um, uh, using a very simple device, which is the traditional transformer, which has uh, almost 130 years of uh, history in use. And then we needed uh, actually a system which uh, could allow 
uh, to test the capability of this uh, smart transformer. For this reason, we have built uh, this uh, uh, part of the laboratory uh, in which we have a, a computer which is uh, able to simulate in real time part of the electric grid. Then we have a power amplifier where we can basically uh, create uh, a voltage which is uh, reproducing what is in a realistic grid. And then we have several uh, power converters which are actually emulating a smart transformer in the electric grid to see which kind of service this smart transformer can give to the grid in that specific situation. But this kind of system we have built for the project can also be used for several other purposes, just again to test power electronic converter for wind turbine, photovoltaic system, storage system, and their interaction in the electric grid. We have even tested to have high voltage DC transmission. So this is a flexible power electronic laboratory which allows us to cover all the problems and the, the topics that have to do with the integration of power electronics into the electric grid. We are here in the last spot that I wanted to show because it also gave a, a little bit a look to the future. Uh, this medium voltage laboratory which is almost ready and has been funded uh, with uh, a European infrastructural money and also with the contribution of the Kiel University and the AKSA uh, is a, a really special uh, laboratory which allow to test uh, uh, smart transformer but other, also other power electronic technology up to 10 kilovolt and 1 megawatt uh, of uh, power. Um, also with the capability to be connected as we planned to the uh, network uh, emulator which uh, will allow to make this test in realistic grid condition. And uh, this laboratory in a few days will be ready and will uh, start to be uh, operative and um, this also brings uh, a little bit near to the possible application of this smart transformer. From two years, I uh, started a project uh, from uh, a company, Scottish Power in uh, Scotland, where they basically uh, will test in the field several smart transformers and then will test the capability of this device to show to the company what this device is able to do. Of course, these are part of our scientific uh, outcome of this project will be uh, a very good argument for, to, for the company to believe in this uh, technology. Also uh, consider the Scottish Power is part of a large industrial group that is the group uh, Iberdriola. We are also involved in this project and we are actually helping the, the company to bring this project to the uh, success. And something else I, I can also say is that we plan in this uh, corner of the laboratory to create a storage laboratory, uh, which will be done in cooperation with the colleague in the uh, material science and will uh, be the further step of the development of our research and application.